Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, Marketplace, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Real Real. Did I say that already? I don't know. Anyway, I sell all over. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, volleyball player, and I love Disney. So we are going to get into what I sold this past week. It was a pretty good week of sales. Um, yeah, I started listing it back on Facebook Marketplace again because I had a really good sale on there. And so I went to check to see how it was going. Like before, it wasn't letting me choose shipping for some stupid reason, but now it is. So so anyway, I'm trying that again. Um, if you like reseller content, like thread up unboxings, thrift hauls, what sold videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. That way you can see every time I put out new videos. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with Macari because I had literally one sale there, I think. I don't know. My son sold three things on Macari this week. I'm trying to get him to come in the video, but I don't think he's going to. But he did sell that North Face puffer coat for $115. So that was amazing. I made an Instagram post about it yesterday. He was really excited. That is his best sale he's ever had. So on Mercari for me, I just sold this pair of Sundance pants. They were brown, relaxed, toned it up casual pants. And they sold very quickly for $28. So yeah, one sale. Okay, Mercari. I don't know like what is going on with that. Okay, so Marketplace, I actually sold two things this week. One was this FXR Vertical Edge Tri-Laminate ATV Snowmobile Jacket. This sold for my full asking price of $125, which is crazy. So after I made that sale, I was like, mm, let me start trying to list on there again. And then also on Marketplace, I sold these Coach 120 Hazel Aviator Sunglasses. These came to me in a thread up coach box, which is actually pretty cool because mostly it's usually just purses. So those are my two things that I sold on Marketplace. So that's pretty good. Um, let's move on to Poshmark. Poshmark, I sold these Cole Haan Sylvia black leather suede ankle booties. These only sold for $16. I've had these for a really long time, probably over a year. For some reason, I have a hard time selling Cole Haan shoes. I mean, my son picked some up and sold them in like two weeks and I just sit on them forever. So I don't know what's going on, but I was glad to finally move them. I sold this Ralph Lauren navy blue quarter zip sweater. This was a men's sweater I've had also for a really long time. I might have got it a long time ago at a men's thread up rescue box. I'm not sure, but I did sell it for 15. Next was this Bowden sweatshirt. I knew this would sell quickly. It was really cute gray with like floral embroidered all along the top. I listed it for 35. I was getting some lowball offers, but someone offered me 30. And so I sold that, I think within a day. Next was this Everlane Cream V-neck chunky ribbed knit sweater. I think this might've been shrunk a little bit. I did go ahead and put measurements in my listing and the size and everything, and it sold for $35. I sold this Burberry blue canvas cotton blue button up top. This came to me in a thread up designer box. I still have yet to get another thread up designer box these last few weeks. I wish I could because I get amazing things like this and it sold for $90. So that was a great sale. I sold this free people half moon duster kimono. This sold super quick for me for $25. Next was the brand AGL. I've had these for a really long time. They were tan, black color block, slip-on shoes. They were in a size seven and they sold for $25. I sold this little mini long chomp bag. This was a little uh, one that came in a thread up designer box. It was leather. So kind of different than the normal nylon ones that I typically get. This got lots of interest and it sold for $37. Next was a pair of Levi's. These were the 710 super skinny dark wash jeans and these sold for 20. I sold this Ted Baker dress pretty quickly. I got this at a consignment store from their clearance rack. And this was the Cafe Woodland Jacquard party dress and it sold for $75. So that was great. It was really cute. These Jimmy Choo shoes were also in a thread up designer box, but they were pretty outdated and a little bit worn. So I did list them lower and they sold for $40. I sold this Torrid black flannel plaid lace up long sleeve top. This was in a size 2X. And this sold for me for my full asking price of $30. Next was an Athleta Hot Pink Surf Rash Guard Swim Top. I did not know this was a swim top when I bought it. I thought it was just a pullover jacket, but it still sold very quickly for $17. 
I sold this men's BDG Urban Outfitters coat. This was in the women's section and I thought it was women's until I came home and did some research on it. It was kind of like a burgundy corduroy with Sherpa lining and it sold for $45. Next was another Bowden item. This was a blue scalloped tassel Willa top. This was in a size 10 and it sold for $20. I sold this Sean John zip up bomber jacket. This came to me in a Threads men's box. I would never get this at the thrift store and it sold for eight. And then I sold these Skechers. I can't talk. I sold these Skechers shape ups for $10. I used to get Skechers shape ups and sell them really well, but for some reason I cannot sell them hardly anymore. They sat forever and someone offered me 10, so I took it. Next was a pair of Lululemon navy blue throwback yoga pants. These were in a size two and they sold like in a literal minute for $45, so that was great. Next was a pair of American Eagle light wash high rise mom jeans. These were in a size 12. They sold pretty quickly for $30. I sold these Dolce & Gabbana black crown and bee jogger pants. These were men's. I got them at a thrift world, I believe just last week. They were priced at $14, so I did go ahead and buy those after I um, figured out that they were authentic, and they sold for $75. Next was a men's Lululemon blue space tie long sleeve shirt. I thought this was women's when I picked it up at the store, but it did have that little like box around the logo, which I think means it's always men's. It was just a men's extra small, and it sold for $35. I sold these Chloe sunglasses. These came to me in a thread up designer box, and these sold for $55. Next was a pair of Can Can jeans. These were the medium distressed boyfriend jeans. They were marked size 31, but they were way bigger than that. They actually fit more like a 36. So I did go ahead and put all of that information in the description and they sold for 20. Next was an Obermeyer jacket. It was a black, white printed soft shell jacket, size 12. It sold for 20. I probably could have got more, but I don't hardly ever decline offers. <laughs> and sometimes I counter, but if it's things I've had for a while, I almost always just accept, move it on and take the profit. Next was a pair of Can Can Alani mid-rise super skinny jeans in a size 30. They sold for $20. I sold these Bionica brown woven slip-on comfort shoes. I don't really know much about these, only I've got them a couple of times and they've sold around $20, $25 and these ones sold for $20. These Lucky Brand boots I've had for a really long time. They were black side ankle zip boots in a size 8 and they sold for $19. Next was a pair of American Eagle jeggings. These were the black high-rise jeggings in a size 22, and these sold for $30. I sold these Fabletics leggings really quickly. They were white floral high-rise ruched leggings in a size large, and they sold for $18. Next was an Anthropology Rana Gill Eastgate jeweled sweater. I had this for a little while. Someone offered me $15. It wasn't getting, like, any action, so I went ahead and took that. This J. Crew Navy Stadium Cloth Peacoat sold for $50. I had this for a little while and um, yeah, it was getting a lot of attention now that we're getting into the colder months, but someone did offer me 50 and I was like, yes, that's a good offer. So I went ahead and sold that to them. Next is a pair of Levi's. This was the 721 high rise distressed skinny jeans and they sold for $25. I sold this bundle. It was a Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria bra in a size 40 F and a Torrid Olive Green Harbor Pullover Blouse in a size 1X, and those both sold for $36. Next was another Bowden item. This was the Bowden Navy White Stripe Short Sleeve Top, and it sold for $20. I sold this 3.1 Philip Lim Black Gold Sequin Dress. This came to me also in a Thread Out Designer Box, and this sold for $40. Next was a pair of Lululemon leggings. They were the black Wonder Unders, but they were kind of worn. It was almost like pilling, but it was not really like pilling you could shave off with a sweater shaver. It was like little pieces of like stretchy elastic or something, but they still sold for $28, so that's great. I sold this vintage coach bag. This came to me in a thread up coach box that I just opened, but I actually don't think I made a video on that one. It was pretty discolored, so I priced it low and it sold for $25. I sold these American Eagle High Rise Distressed Mom Jeans. These were in a size 20 and they sold for $20. Another Bowden item. This was a blue chambray long sleeve linen tunic in a size 4. That also sold for $20. And then the last thing on Poshmark were these Ted Baker sunglasses. These came to me, I think, in a thread up fun box and they sold for $30. So those are my Poshmark sales. Really good. Poshmark always is my best platform. I guess every once in a while eBay beats it out, but usually Poshmark is the best. 
Okay, so let's move on to eBay. eBay was also pretty good for me this week. The first thing I sold was this Torrid Black Bleached Heart Waffle Long Sleeve Thermal. I knew this would sell quick. I got it just recently and it sold for $18. Next is a pair of Flying Monkey Jeans. I think these might be sold at like the Buckle or Maurice's or something. I don't know. They were in a size 26. They were just like a dark wash skinny jeans and they sold for 20. I sold this Torrid Ivory Navy Slub Knit Raglan Short Sleeve Top. This sold for my full asking price of $25.88. Next was a new Free People top. It was orange striped linen blend, size large, and this sold for $25. I sold these pair of Sam Edelman riding boots. I don't get Sam Edelman's shoes very much anymore, but these ones seem to be a good style. They were leather, tall, size 10, and they sold for $42. This Tory Burch shirt sold super quick. I just picked this up but it was kind of an older style. It was like a polo and it had like the ruffle and down here, but it did have Tory Burch buttons. So it sold for 32, like within five minutes. So that was great. Next was a rag and bone tank top. This was a blue striped tank top in a size small and it sold for 20. I sold this Torrid Stretch Blazer Lexington Millennium size 1X. It was kind of an older style and a little bit worn. So I priced a little bit lower and it sold for 20 super fast. Next was a cabbie women's super soft serenity long sleeve tee. This also sold super quick for $25.88, my full asking price. So it's just basic, but next was a Gianni brown suede tassel Western boots. These sold for my full asking price of $25.88. I don't even know what this brand is. These came to me a long time ago and I thread up shoe box, but glad that they sold. And then I sold these Athleta pants. These were new with tags and they sold for my full asking price of $50.80. They were tan khaki summit cargo pants. Someone actually was asking me measurements or some kind of like, I don't know. It was like, I already put measurements in the listing. They were asking me even more measurements on Poshmark. And then I ended up just selling them for full price on eBay. So that was great. Next was a new Eileen Fisher dress. This was a pink um, silk, not silk, yes. Wow, silk jersey dress. It had three quarter sleeves, size extra large, and it sold for $70, $80. I can't speak. Next was a pair of level 99 cargo drawstring jogger pants. These were kind of a um, camo design and they sold pretty quick for my full asking price of $35.88. And then I sold this Free People Black V-neck Distressed Burnout Long Sleeve T-shirt for in a size medium. That sold for $15. Not really surprising. It wasn't anything special. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, my eBay was like kind of slow this week. So I'm glad Poshmark was good. Next was the Anthropology Kami Toy Bird Print Casual Skirt. I've had this for a super long time and I accepted an offer of $12. And then the last thing I sold last night on eBay was this Garnet Hill dress. It was a rose print like faux wrap dress. So really pretty and that sold for $30. So eBay kind of slow, but some good high sales mixed in. Poshmark was the best, obviously really great for me. And then that marketplace sale with that jacket was amazing. So that was my sales guys. Let me know down below. What was your best sale this week? What was your best flip? I always am curious to know what other people are selling and I'll see you guys soon. Probably Sunday. I got another thread up designer box unboxing to do for you guys. So I'll see you then. Bye.